Hey everybody, just back here with another video. So question period has returned. So that means that basically we're going to get to see a lot more of Pierre Polyev uh, roasting Jogmeet Singh, uh, Justin Trudeau and others right to their face, which is always a beautiful thing. Now, before we get into this uh, minute and a half long video, I do just want to remind you guys to please like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Also, if you don't mind leaving your comments in the comment section as well, I really do appreciate the engagement. So let's go, let's have a look at this video and then we'll talk about it after like usual. All the adults in the Liberal and NDP, par NDP parties are saying that this budget is irresponsible. Yeah. We have... John Manley, former Liberal Finance Minister, saying this Prime Minister is pushing on the inflationary gas pedal. David Dodge, renowned Liberal, is saying it could be the worst budget in four decades. Bill Norno, remember him? And before he became Bill No More, he said that this is a troubling budget. And even Tom Mulcair says that there's too much going to debt interest. Isn't this like the NDP liberal marriage, the parents went away, and the rambunctious, reckless kids went and trashed the place. While the leader of the opposition continues to focus on partisan attacks, we're going to stay focused on building a better future for Canadians. It's not me that's doing personal or partisan attacks against this prime minister's agenda. It's his fellow liberals and new Democrats. It's his coalition partner, who simultaneously attacks everything he does and then enthusiastically stands up to support it. It's the prime minister who attacks his immigration minister for letting the system get completely out of control and then attacks himself for doubling housing costs, making life so unfair. If they're so busy attacking themselves and their own record, why don't they just call a carbon tax election so Canadians can vote for that? I mean that that might have been his best performance yet. Maybe not. It's it's definitely up there though. I mean that that was hilarious. And it's just it's beautiful how Justin Trudeau is just kind of always like, well, it's these bipartisan attacks and I don't like Pierre Paul yet because he's a meanie head. And all these liberal followers, I mean they're dwindling by the days, but they still have some followers. And no, it's not just all people who work for the government. They do actually have people who just live everyday lives and they still support Justin Trudeau, but they all use the same talking points. He's mean. He's a Russian asset. He's just like Trump. None of it's true. He's not a Russian asset. He's not nearly as ruthless as Trump, although he is very quick and very witty and is definitely hilarious. And it, listen, the liberals and their supporters and the NDP and their supporters they can say that people are bullying them all, the, all they want. After nine years of just nonstop garbage, you're going to try to play the victim? Because people are mean to you. Remember what, what Justin Trudeau said about people who refuse to get the vaccine. Just go back and watch what he said. Who's mean here? Second of all, Andrew Scheer, Stephen Harper, and Aaron O'Toole, the last three people to try to take Justin Trudeau out in terms of, you know, removing him as prime minister via election, they weren't nearly this, they weren't as ruthless as Pierre Polyev is being. He's not as bad as Trump in terms of like the rhetoric and all that, but he is definitely going after Trudeau very, very hard. And he should, because he deserves it. And if you're a liberal and you're watching this, you can play the victim card all you want. It ain't going to work. It's actually just going to make us make fun of you even more. You can't play the victim card out of this one. I mean, there's no path for Justin Trudeau. Uh, I heard uh, Brian Lilly talk about that maybe there's an election just before the United States election. And Trudeau tries to go on this campaign about how Pierre Polyev just like Trump. Even if it were true, I don't even think people care that much. He has never said anything that... Th th there's some things that Trump said. That I'm not going to repeat it. You can go and look. He's obviously said way crazier shit than what Pierre Polyev is saying. So it's like, okay, they're going to do the whole Pierre Polyev is like Trump thing. Go ahead. They've already started to do it. No one cares. Pierre Polyev has only gone up in the polls. So go ahead. There's nothing Justin Trudeau can do other than basically reverse everything he's done over the past nine years. And even then, that's not going to help him. It's time for him to go. Everyone knows it. I hope him and Jugmeet Singh follow or fall into third and fourth place. I wish they'd fall into fifth place or sixth place. Or even just, you know, completely be abolished for being so stupid and corrupt and ruining a country for nine years. Also, not allow, uh, letting us know who the 11 MPs are who were committing treason, basically. 
which means he's complicit in treason, which is treason itself. But we all know that won't happen, but let's just get them down as low as possible. I think we'd all love to see that. Just Jugmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau sitting over there with their handful of MPs while the Conservative caucus is, you know, like more than half, oh, sorry, more than uh, half of the uh, House of Commons and the bloc would be the official opposition. Not that I like them or think that they should even be an official party, but it would be funny to see. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I do always appreciate you guys um, leaving your thoughts and your suggestions and your questions and whatnot. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help this channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.